is a new review for the Function X2 from Fans Project Quadruple U, the FX line, their headmaster line, which is uh, quite cool. Uh, this one is Quadruple U, also known as Weird Wolf in the G1 mythos. So some very nice art there on the side of the box. Um, not so much, of course, just Quadruple U. Uh, you remember very similar to the, uh, the Function X1 code box. Um, the art looks really nice together. Side by side. I can't wait for the rest of this line. It's, uh, these are really, really wowing me. But it's the same type of packaging when that's, there's just a plastic sleeve over an unsealed teal box this time, which you open up. And inside in the clamshell, you get the robot figure. Inside in a little baggie, which I've already removed it from, you get the uh, tail sword as well as a no comic but a small little instruction booklet on how to transform him with a small teaser hint of the uh, upcoming Brainstorm over here uh, in Shadow, much like Weird Wolf was in Shadow on the original code packaging. And we have seen color pictures of Brainstorm, or uh, Smart Robin as they're calling him at this point, which means uh, hopefully he'll be coming along shortly and uh, not too, too far behind uh, Quadruple U here. Uh, certainly, hopefully not with the same delay between code and uh, this guy. But there he is in his packaging. The very striking yellow and teal of Weird Wolf. Go ahead and just, he just pops right out. And there he is. Put that off to the side. And yeah, uh, very cool, very nice, uh, very great rendition, I feel, of Weird Wolf. Um, we'll have a comparison with the original one here in a couple of days. Um, he can hold his sword just like that. Um, his head does turn a little bit. Um, and he's got the same type of mechanism that Code has, where the head... Uh, Neck piece rotates and can look down a little bit. Um, so there's that. I mean, you can see there's his wolf head on his back. Uh, I'll, again, a la the G1 figure. And uh, th now, the, 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 a lot of people were complaining about the shoulder posability, especially on code. And here's a real quick uh, look at them side by side. They look really nice together. Um, in that his shoulders are kind of limited in that they only come out like that. And some people were saying that quad U's are just as limited, but um, you'll notice uh, quad U's, they, they can come up like this, which is already a little bit better than uh, codes, but they're also, it's, it's kind of hard to see in here, the, the, the inner cup for the bald socket here on the shoulder, inside, the, inside the, this actual shoulder piece, is a little black plastic separate piece that's also on a hinge, so once you get here, if you kind of push down, you'll see it come out. You can see uh, that the cup right here rotates out on this hinge up here and gives even further movement to the shoulder. So it's actually got some pretty decently articulated shoulders. Uh, I did notice when I first got it, though, that the... Uh, yeah, so you can see that it comes out quite a bit there. Um, these were a little tight. Um, and if you... Like, this one, this one worked okay. This one was a little tight. So if you have that issue... Try just very, I mean, you don't even have to do it, maybe like, maybe like an eighth to a quarter of a turn. Just loosen the screws here on the back a little bit, and the, and that should loosen up and give you a little bit more motility there in the shoulders, um, which is really nice. Um, I'm glad, when I discovered it, I was like, oh, hey, great. Um, and the hips are, are pretty decent. There's some swivels there, nice knee hinge. Um, the wolf ball paws down here, his knees. He does have bicep swivels as well as a forearm swivel. And uh, some very slight ankle tilt there, um, mostly as part of the transformation. And the transformation is actually really pretty cool. But yeah, he's got, uh, you pop off the, whether you want to consider this a weird wolf and his trans or uh, this as Monzo. He's got a little headmaster. Now when you transform him, you want to, his visor lifts up. And this is really neat. He's got some really neat looking little eyes here that look like they're glowing. Let's see if I can get this in focus here. Um, come on. There we go. Uh, behind his red visor, and it's actually yellow paint on the eyes behind a, a translucent visor, which is, gives a really neat effect here. Now, when you transform him, you do want to lift this visor up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and refocus this here before you transform him, and then uh, you'll bring this down and around. You'll see the visor comes up like that, and then you push it into his back like that. So it hides his face a little bit, sits up there in the face, but you push it in so it's not sticking out, and there is... Uh, there's a little dude. He's got, he looks kind of like Firebolt, honestly, with the gray and the red face, and the gray and black with the red face. But uh, what can you do? Now, to transform it back, um, and this is where you want to be careful. You fold them down around, just like before, with the legs up. And then when you fold this piece down, you don't want to just push it to fold it down. You want to pull it out a little bit, 
you can see there's a, a, a groove there that it slides on. Pull it all the way out and then fold it down. If you push too hard just trying to push it down the first time, you'll end up cracking this piece and nobody wants that. I mean, unless you're really just out to destroy your toys. So yeah, and then the head, and it just plugs right into here. Just like before. So yeah, neat little figure, neat little posability. We'll go ahead and get him back into his uh, smaller mode. Not his smaller mode, but his main robot mode. And put him in a seating position to get ready for uh, piloting the uh, vehicle mode. Or quote-unquote vehicle animal mode. Now the feet, the hands are just the paws with, with the thumb folded down. Which, uh, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Seeing it in person and at TFCon and messing around with it, I kind of dig it. Um, now over here, uh, before we get all the way to other, the other modes, there's a little, uh, right here on, it, on each leg, right here and right here you lift up, and on each shoulder, there's this little hinge piece that pops out. And basically what that allows you to do is, depending on where you want to store it, um, his sword pops open like that, there's a little post here, and you can either put that post on here and snap the sword shut, and have him kind of carry his sword on his hip. Uh, you can also, again, either shoulder, uh, put it up here on and plug it into the whole hit this way. Come on. And snap it shut and carry the sword on his shoulder. So there are storage options for the sword in robot mode if you choose to use them. Now the transformation, and here's where it's kind of a whole lot of fun. First off, come up here, bring the, rotate the fists so they're facing down like that and then rotate the arms up. At this point, you can take the thumb and rotate it up to form kind of the, uh, the elbow spur for wolf mode. Flip the paw up. The wolf head, yeah, yeah, actually, when he's in bot mode, this comes down and this should, this, this little gap right here clips onto this little piece right here on the back of the neck, that little gap in the red. So you, you'll lift this up, flip this forward like this. Go ahead and flip this up now because that's gonna form the cockpit and, you, and that'll make it easier to get in there. Because uh, it forms a really tight cockpit. Um, so bring that up. And then, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. You want to take the legs. And I found, like, I can't remember exactly. I think it's this way you want to rotate them. But you're going to re rotate the hips. What I do is um, bring the leg down. You flip the, the, uh, you know, the paw and flip this whole foot around at the ankle like this. And uh, let's see. Okay, so his, his paw is going to go that way. So figure out which way it goes in wolf mode. So you're going to need to bring this. So this is going to be, this leg is going to form the leg on the opposite side of the wolf. So take it and rotate his, uh... oh, nope, 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 we want to go the other way. Go this way, rotate this out, and then rotate it. So you, you flip the, the foot around, rotate the knee out at the hinge, and then rotate the whole thing around right up here at the hip. So that leg ends up on the right side. And you just bring this back, this, the foot sits up here, bring the wolf foot down, like that, and then you've got the wolf leg. The same on the other side, uh, just the opposite. There, th this is on a ball joint, you just pop it right back on. That was my fault for trying to pull it down without flipping the, the heel first. I'll flip the heel, go ahead and pop you back on. Alright, there we go. Let's flip the heel, rotate this out and around. Like that, bring his paw down, bring the knee back, and flip this up. And then from at this point, these pieces, you can see there's a, a, a peg hole here and a peg over here, and same on this side. Uh, before, you, so you're gonna, you're gonna bring these together and peg them together like this. Before you do that, take the tail, uh, the bottom side with the, with the blade facing up, there's a couple little tabs here on either side of the uh, sword. And you just take that, and there's a couple little grooves here peg the tail in, then bring this over, and then these two should snap together uh, on these pegs as well as around the tail, solidifying that connection. Just snap that whole assembly together like that. And there are the, uh, there's the rear of the wolf. And then this panel right here, lift this panel up. You can see it was pegged in. There's a tab right here on the teal part that this pegs into. So you lift this up, and then you pull these side pieces out, and this whole assembly you can see collapses up into the chest. The chest shrinks back and then collapses back in uh, around the, the back half of the wolf. So it shortens the wolf a little bit. 
and then here's the cockpit. And like an anime style opening cockpit, you open up the front and the back. Squeeze him in so him straight down in there. Get him to sit straight in there. And then you just close the green part or teal part. Close that down on top of that. Lift his head up, and there you have Weird Wolf with his pilot uh, inside of him. And again, the legs are, you can adjust the legs to your liking. Bring him back a little bit so he's not standing quite so butt up in the airish. That helps if I have both his feet down supporting himself. So yeah, there's Weird Wolf. Very cool, very neat. Um, his mouth head, as his, his wolf head can look up and down a little bit. Uh, his mouth does open, so you can play with that a little bit. But uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, Weird Wolf, I, I think my two favorite headmasters growing up were Weird Wolf and Chrome Dome. So uh, to have them be the first two in the Function X line really makes me happy. And this is a great version of Weird Wolf. Uh, much like I said, they take some of the ideas that they already started with code and refine them a little bit. Um, and I still love code. I still, still think code is a lot of fun. And I think Weird Wolf's even better. And Smart Robin, I think, is really going to wow some people with his transformation, too, once they get their hands on it to check it out. But yeah, there he is. Uh, there is Quadruple U from Fans Project. Um, it is another uh, recommended one on, on my list. Um, but, like I got him and Randy the same day. I was really excited to have both of them. Um, but he's very, very cool and a very nice, does justice to the original character, I feel. It's a lot of fun. So there he is, uh, Fans Project Quadruple U.